Hi, I'm Randy Vance, and welcome to the virtual test drive of the Yamaha 242 Limited S. This is the brand new boat from Yamaha that replaces their 23 foot line. It's versatile no matter how you want to use it, and we're going to walk you through all its great features right now, beginning with the results of our performance testing from earlier today. Our test boat was equipped with twin 110.6 cubic inch displacement Yamaha Marine Gasoline inline four cylinder jet drive engines. Instead of external exposed propellers, this system uses 155 millimeter diameter variable pitch stainless steel impellers on the inside of the jet pumps. Our test load was 405 pounds of passengers and 25 gallons of fuel. We reached a time to plane of 2.5 seconds, almost too quick to measure on a stopwatch, and our time to 30 miles per hour was 4.5 seconds. The most economical cruise speed on this rig was 31.5 miles per hour at 5,500 RPM. Now here's where you control all that power, speed, and acceleration from. We like the fact that the bucket seat has a flip-up bolster that gives you a good view over the windshield for docking. Twin binnacles to right fall easily into hand, and we've also got digital instruments which give you a fuel readout so that you can monitor your fuel for maximum range. We really like the aquatic AV stereo system with its built-in iPod interface. It's a really handy device that tucks your iPod away and lets you control it through the face of the stereo. Now it comes with six coaxial speakers and two tweeters for a great sound. Now Yamaha's research shows that boaters are not just about going fast. They like to hang out on the water and they paid particular attention to how boaters are going to do that on this boat. For instance, take a look at the forward passenger seat. You've got a forward-facing seat and an aft face seat, but look how quickly and easily this converts to an aft-facing lounge, giving you this broad J-shaped seating area that gives everybody a comfortable place to sit. Now, continuing in that vein of versatility, I love the way they've got this configured up here with this jump seat. There's a secure grab rail so your kids can enjoy the view over the front. On the port side, we've got it arranged to be a lounge area. We really like that setup too. Now, add these filler cushions and you've got a great sunning area. But there's even another neat trick. Now you've got three across seating so three people can enjoy the view over the bow. Also standard on the 242 is this convenient changing room. You can equip it with a portable toilet for even more convenience. It's a feature not found on many 24-foot boats. Now Yamaha engineers have made this boat as convenient to use as it is fun. We like these fresh water flushing ports here to rinse the salt water out of your engines. But here's what Yamaha is really known for. Everybody likes to dangle their toes in the water and they've given a lot of thought to this transom area. Now take a look at this great seating area back here. The first thing they did was they lowered the platform. It's now even closer to the water than it was in the 23, making it so easy to get back on board. There's a boarding ladder easily accessible from out in the water, which is a nice safety feature. This seating area though is where we think people are gonna be hanging out while they're watching their kids at anchor. Or there's a picnic table, making it ideal to come back here and enjoy some refreshments. And for even more versatility, there's a stereo remote control on the transom area. Another feature we like on the transom are the jet cleanout ports, which make it easy to get weeds out of the jet pumps without getting wet. Now everything you've seen on board the Yamaha 242 Limited S is standard equipment, including a trailer. Try to match that on another 24-foot boat. Well, I'm Randy Vance. This is the virtual test drive of the Yamaha 242 Limited S. And the only way you can get a better look at this boat is to test drive it yourself.